I wonder if I can just pick up another thing, because David, you raised an issue which I think is worth teasing out a bit more. It's actually about search engines. Um, and you're quite right that people use search a lot to find things. Now, the search engines have not said anything about the new TLDs that yeah, I'm we, aware of. We asked Google, they said they're officially neutral. Yeah, they, they, well, they, the they, they don't talk about the algorithm, <laughs> unless they're talking to the you know, European Commission or someone. Um, <laughs> the, but the interesting thing that I think we should think through is that all the search engines have a main objective, which is to ensure that a searcher finds a site that is relevant to their need. So, so if, the TL, if there is a TLD being used, <coughs> Use Deloitte as the public example. If I really want to find the Belgian office of Deloitte, and it is dot Deloitte, it would be my common sense expectation that the algorithms will somehow reflect that this is uh, because this, this is the authoritative TLD for Deloitte. That a, that a second level domain related to that is of more relevance and accuracy than Belgian Deloitte dot you know whatever dot whatever dot whatever. Um, and so I do think even the search engines have not said anything about this because they don't talk about their algorithms. If one was to think about their objectives, right. I would expect that the implications of new TLDs is that people who are registered new TLDs will probably do better in the search engine optimization regime. That's probably just primarily because you're in the root of the internet. And, and also, Paul, I think I saw some studies that show that shorter domains perform better in the search engine algorithms. Um, than some of the longer confusing ones that David had thrown out. And, and if I recall correctly, DNS reads from right to left, kind of starting so at your dot brand, uh, which is sort of an interesting implication as well.